जय श्री गुरुदेव गुड मॉर्निंग टू एवरी वन स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू केमिस्ट्री क्लास इन द प्रीवियस क्लास वी आर स्टडीड आयनिंग बॉन्ड और इलेक्ट्रोवेलेंट बॉन्ड देन वट आर द फैक्टर्स विच आर अफेक्टिंग ऑन द फॉर्मेशन ऑफ आयनिक बॉन्ड नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी द एनर्जी फैक्टर्स विच आर इन्वॉल्व इन द फॉर्मेशन ऑफ आयनिक बॉन्ड ओके दट इज द एनर्जी फैक्टर्स Which are involved in the involved in the formation of ion bond. This is the M. to be study in this class this is also called as bohr haber cycle important bohr haber cycle what are the factors means energy factors which are involved in the formation of ionic bond you know uh, the ionic bond is formed by combining two atoms that is sodium and chloride for example So to form the ion bond between those two atoms, what are the energies which are present that we are studying in this class here in data that we also call as Bohr-Haber cycle. Bohr-Haber cycle. So now observe, let like consider the example formation of sodium chloride crystal solid of one mole. One mole. The one mole of sodium chloride crystal solid is formed by combining. One mole of sodium atoms in its solid state and half mole of chlorine molecule chlorine gas to form sodium chloride salt. See the chemical reaction that is a sodium solid plus half mole of chlorine in gaseous state. These two combine together. Get sodium chloride solid crystal. Sodium chloride solid crystals. So observe here, sodium one mole. We are taking here. There is one. If you not written anything, it means one. That is solid. Sodium solid. And half mole of here two plus two get cancel. You get one chlorine atom. Right there. We are we are taking chlorine molecule. Chlorine is available in the form of molecule due to high number of electrons. Okay. so it is it doesn't exist as a chlorine atom in nature however it exist as chlorine molecule like cl2 cl2 now to balance the chemical reaction we are taking half molecule of chlorine gas now we get sodium chloride crystal solid here two to get cancel get one chlorine that is sodium with chlorine get nacl this is called enthalpy of formation That is delta H formation of sodium chloride crystal. We are considering the example, and we are studying Bohr Haber cycle for the sodium chloride. Here yeah, delta H of delta H of is nothing but change in enthalpy to form sodium chloride crystal. That is minus Q kilojoules per mole. Kilojoules per mole. Now here minus four not nine kilojoules per mole. Energy is eliminated, means liberated. Minus we are writing here. It means liberated this amount of energy to form one mole of sodium chloride solid crystals from one mole of sodium solid and half mole of sodium sorry half mole of chlorine gas gas. So this is called enthalpy of formation. This enthalpy of formation is not only takes place in single step. it involves multiple steps means number of energies are present between the these two chlorine and sodium atoms to form sodium chloride okay those are the factors we are studied here one by one now take the first one is so listen the definition of enthalpy of formation formation enthalpy of formation is defined as enthalpy of formation is defined as 
the amount of energy which is required to form or liberated liberated to form one mole of sodium chloride solid from its constituent gaseous atom either we are mentioned particularly sodium chloride or leaving so generally it is defined as amount of energy which is liberated to form one mole of substance from its constituent atoms constituent atoms is called as a enthalpy of formation now the inverse multiple stress i told you those we have studied one by one now take to the first one step one step one in the first step this sodium solid this sodium solid undergo sublimation sublimation to give sodium gas gas see in the first state sodium na solid is converted into na gas this is called enthalpy of sublimation delta h of s in the first state one mole of sodium solid crystals is sublimizes into one mole of gaseous uh, sodium sodium this process is called as enthalpy of sublimation here the heat energy is required to convert solid to gas so you know uh, generally if you take in ice ice which is to convert ice into water vapors water vapors we are heating right so in observe mari ice anadu solid agirutte adanna adu heat madre liquid agutte matte heat madre venagutte water vapors so vapors anadu enu gaseous state to ice anadu enu solid state so solid to the gaseous state ki convert aagbekadre so the conversion of solid to gaseous state it should need heat energy right so the delta h of s that is sublimation s q d we are writing that is plus q kilo joules per mole it means per mole here also right per mole so this much of if we don't know how much it is required just we are writing q q is nothing but heat okay that is the uh, symbol or notation we are using to represent heat q joules per mole that is kilo joules per mole amount of heat energy is required to convert solid to gas and the process of conversion of solid to gas directly is called as a sublimation okay in this process this amount of energy is required that is the step one then step two in step 2 the sodium ga gas sodium gas is converted into sodium ion sodium ion that is the step 2 the sodium gas is converted into sodium ion sodium ion plus that is ion plus electron is eliminated here observe the second step is one mole of sodium gaseous is ionizes into or it is converted into one mole of sodium ion sodium ion now to eliminate electron it should need heat energy heat energy that is called enthalpy of ionization delta h i that is equal to plus q kilo joules per mole mole here also such quantity of heat will be required so i told you let take sodium Atomic number is eleven, right? Electronic configuration is one s two, two s two, two p six, three s one. So this is the electronic configuration. Now the outermost shell shell electron having only one electron. Now to remove this one electron, how much quantity of heat energy is required? That we call enthalpy of ionization. Ionizing sodium atom is ionized into sodium ion by removing electron. Okay. That is called enthalpy ionization. After removing this ion, one electron is deficient in sodium, so that this can be written as Na plus. Plus is nothing but it will lose one electron. Means loses one electron. If you write two plus, it will it loses again one more electron. Right? Two P five. Okay. So sodium is able to uh, release only one electron because. The inner electronic configuration become stable noble electronic configuration after using one electron. That you know. This is the step. 
Now, in third step, see the third step, step 3. In the third step, this chlorine gas, that is of molecule of chlorine, chlorine gas is converted into one mole of chlorine gaseous atom, gaseous atom, that is called enthalpy of diffusion, diffusion, that is third step, this is the first step, means first and second step for sodium, the third step is chlorine, okay, of Cl2, this chlorine molecule, Cl2 is nothing but what, molecule, right, this chlorine molecule is diffuses into chlorine gas, gas, this chlorine is always present in the gaseous state that you know. This chlorine molecule from gaseous state is converted into chlorine atom in gaseous state. This is called enthalpy of diffusion. Diffusion. Here also it should need heat energy that is called diffusion. D I L I F or you also simply called as D. Means represented like D. Called enthalpy of diffusion. Here also to convert one molecule chlorine to one atom chlorine. See, this is the red chalk piece, calcium chloride molecules, right? Now to break these calcium chlorine molecules that compound into simple pieces, it should need heat energy or some energy, right? Right? Chalk pieces are the calcium chloride atoms, right? That's why compound is the calcium chloride and the compound is the calcium chloride. Sorry, calcium carbonate, not chloride, sorry. Calcium carbonate is the same. It is now tumba compounds in the calcium carbonate and tumba set it with the chalk is added. Now it is quartz and it is the heat energy that is required. Either it may be heat energy or any energy. Means any forms of energy. But here we are supplying heat, right? That will be positive only. Means we are supplying heat. That is equal to plus kilo joules per mole. That is Q kilo joules per mole. This is called enthalpy of diffusion. Then the fourth step is step four. In step four, this chlorine gaseous atom is gaining electron from the sodium and form chlorine ion in its gaseous state only. That is called enthalpy, electron gain enthalpy. Electron gain enthalpy. Observe the fourth step. This chlorine gaseous atom is gaining electron, electron from sodium and becomes chlorine minus gaseous ion. Chlorine minus gaseous ion. This is sodium plus chlorine minus ion. Here my negative ion is formed after gaining electron. Here electron is gaining. Okay. This chlorine atom in gaseous state gaining electron and form chlorine anion in gaseous state. Electron is gaining. That is called delta H of electron gain enthalpy. Eg delta H. Here this electron gain enthalpy is negative. Remember negative. That is kilo joules per mole. Minus kilo joules per mole. Why it is negative? Observe. Now, if now this chlorine molecule or any atom, any atom, example we are taking chlorine here, take chlorine only. Chlorine containing 17 electrons. Means electronic configuration atom number is 17. Now after gain one electron, it attains stable normal gas configuration, right? So to gain electron, it releases heat energy. It no need to accept or require to energy. It releases energy. Okay. For example, uh, here I have to help it. Okay. Now, uh, okay. For hazard, okay. Two to three days now. Hotel is not allowed. Just as such, if suddenly that guy suddenly that guy, sir, the food that guy, 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 Put the good with the air, energy man window. Now, some heat energy to Yavi and form a strain and general rebreak matrix. The strength again like that for chlorine atom after gaining electron, it releases heat energy or some amount of energy and it becomes chlorine anion. Got it down. This is the fourth step. Now, fifth step. Step five. In the last step, this chlorine anion, chlorine anion, and sodium cation. 
combine together in their gaseous state. So this is gas. We are also right gas in their gaseous state and form sodium chloride compound of solid. So that is sodium ion in its gaseous state plus chlorine anion in its gaseous state combine together and form sodium chloride solid crystals. Sodium chloride solid crystal. This is called uh, lattice enthalpy. This is called lattice enthalpy that is indicated as letter U. Lattice enthalpy indicated as letter U. This enthalpy is written as kilojoules per mole. That is Q kilojoules per mole. It is positive or negative. That is depends on the the uh, quantity of crystals is formed. Sorry, not quantity. The type of crystals is formed. So this is called as lattice enthalpy. Okay, so observe the lattice enthalpy of formation of sodium chloride is only from its gaseous state. Both are in gaseous state. Okay, sodium chloride is solid form of the other two gaseous state. That is the lattice enthalpy of the other two. That is the other two. Sodium and the solid in the chlorine are gaseous state. The other two vapor state. That is the other two. When the solid form of the other two, that is the enthalpy of formation. This is the difference between lattice enthalpy and enthalpy of formation. Okay. Now we are going to study the definition of lattice enthalpy U. Listen here, it is very important, students. Lattice enthalpy is defined as lattice enthalpy is defined as amount of energy required to form required to form sodium chloride from its constituent gaseous atoms. Gaseous atom. So listen. The amount of heat energy is required to required to degrade degrade or break down one mole of sodium chloride into constituent gaseous atoms. That is called lattice enthalpy. Andre lattice enthalpy andre sodium chloride one mole degrade or break andre dissociate or break break down or break. Ya thara ion sani. Hatha gaseous energy break or thena lattice enthalpy andre karite. Hatha idla for example, if chop is na. कैल्शियम कार्बोनेट पीसेस आगे चिक चिक पार्ट्स आगे मर्डर करते हैं ना वेस्ट एनर्जी बेक आउट होती है जैसे क्रश मर्डर का गिर बो दो अथवा कट मर्डर का गिर बो दो ये ना कदर आगे वेस्ट एनर्जी बेक आउट होती है ना करेगी लैटिस इंटर ऑफ बेंड करेगी ओके इट कैन आल्सो बी डिफाइन्ड एस इन्हों Amount of energy which is released, amount of energy which is released to form one mole of sodium chloride solid from its constituent gaseous atoms is called lattice enthalpy. Andre, one to mole quantity ano do form of paper re constituent gaseous atoms nila is the energy to release ako to. अदर ना लैटिस इंटरवल के इंटरवल करें तो इतना ही तो ना अंदर सोडियम क्लोराइड को पॉट सर्विस करते हैं अंदर हाया सर्विस को दे एनर्जी ना दो सप्लाई मार दे वो ये अदर है यहाँ से सोडियम क्लोराइड फॉर्म होके इधर ना एनर्जी ना दो रिलीज आता है इधर ओके दैट इस पॉट लैटिस इंटरवल नाउ इस अदर � from its constituent atoms, that is called lattice. Uh, sorry, that is called enthalpy of formation. This enthalpy of formation involves how many types of energies and forms of energies? Sublimation, enthalpy of sublimation, enthalpy of ionization, enthalpy of diffusion, and enthalpy of electron gain. Then lattice enthalpy. Okay, these are the five energies that those are present in the enthalpy of formation. Now, according to SS law, SS law. SS law states that the one mole of substance is formed in a single step, or in these multiple steps, the real energy will be remains same. L energy will be remains same. That we call SS law. See students, now we are going to write the flow chart for enthalpy of formation of sodium chloride. From its constituent ions or atoms. Now, first step. See, enthalpy formation is written like that. That is sodium solid is combined with half molecule of chlorine. Okay, it gives what sodium chloride solid crystals. This is the enthalpy of enthalpy of formation. That is delta H. 
delta H enthalpy formation, right? Now, enthalpy, this sodium ion, sorry, sodium atom is converted into sodium gas atom, not atom, uh, molecule, or atom, sorry, atom. The sodium solid is converted into sodium gas, gas atom, that is sublimation. This is called a delta H of sublimation. Now, then again, the sodium gas is converted into sodium ion. Sodium ion, that is also in what gaseous state. This conversion of sodium atom to sodium ion is called what? Enthalpy of ionization, delta H, ionizing. Okay. Now, here observe half molecule of chlorine is converted into half molecule of chlorine is converted into chem atom, that is one mole of chlorine atom that is in gaseous state here both are in gaseous state that is called as what diffusion delta H D diffusion now this chlorine gaseous atom is converted into chlorine chlorine ion in its gaseous state by gaining the electron which is liberated from or eliminated from sodium sodium in the element of the electron in the chlorine gain marked to chlorine ion ion Cl minus that is gain this is called what electron gain enthalpy fourth step electron gain enthalpy now in fifth step this chlorine gas ion sorry sodium gas ion is combined with chlorine ion gas these two combine together and form sodium chloride solid sodium chloride solid this step we call as what? Lattice enthalpy that is U. Okay? Or lattice energy. This is the flow chart to write sodium, to write formation of sodium chloride ionic crystal. Now, here observe delta H of D is converting half molecule of chlorine into one mole of chlorine atom. Sorry, not atom, chlor S chlorine atom. That we call right half diffusion of delta H of diffusion. Why we are writing half here? Half molecule of chlorine is converted into one molecule of chlorine atom. Chlorine atom. Okay. That is one, sorry, one mole of chlorine atom. So, so that delta H D is written as half. That is half of delta H D diffusion. Now, according to SS law, there is a law that is called SS law. SS law. So you will be like, you will study it in next chapter that is in the equilibrium thermodynamics. Thermodynamics. Listen here. The SS law states that whether the reaction is takes place in single state or multiple states, the enthalpy of reaction is remains constant. Constant. SS law the the chemical reaction and single step step multiple steps alladhu run nagli andre ondak kinta jaasti steps alladhu run nagli heat of heat anodu reaction ki est energy break anodu constant age irutte anta heltare artha aithara va that is statement of ss law ss law state that either the reaction is takes place single step or multiple step the heat energy will be remains constant therefore the enthalpy of formation this is the single step reaction and these are the multiple steps of reaction right Hence, delta H of is equal to sum of all these, all these. Now, write delta H of is equal to sum of all these energies. That is, delta H of is equal to sum of all these means delta H of sublimation plus delta H of ionization plus half of delta H of diffusion plus delta H of quoted C according to SS law delta H of formation is equal to delta H of sublimation plus delta H of ionization sublimation ionization plus half of delta H of diffusion plus Delta H of electron gain enthalpy plus this one internal energy U that is called lattice enthalpy. Now 
Here we are going to find that the central field for any solid crystal, solid crystals, find the equation from this one. That is u is equal to from this equation. This is at the center of the u right here. So u is equal to what is u is equal to delta h of f minus minus delta h of sublimation minus delta h of ionization minus half of delta h of diffusion minus delta h of electron gain enthalpy okay that is called lattice enthalpy q in this way we are finding the lattice enthalpy for a any given ionic solid crystals here to form sodium chloride solid the lattice enthalpy is that is u is equal to minus 759.9 kJ per mole so this is the lattice enthalpy kJ per mole lattice enthalpy to form 1 mole of sodium chloride crystal ionic crystal from constituent sodium gaseous ion the chlorine gaseous ion is called lattice enthalpy okay so this much of amount of energy is released as andre ishtu energy enu do release agutte yavaga andre sodium ion matte chlorine ion eradu combine agutte sodium chloride form agutte adanna lattice enthalpy ide so lattice enthalpy is defined as amount of energy releases to form one mole of sodium chloride ionic crystal or any ionic crystal solid from its constituent gaseous atoms is called lattice enthalpy here for sodium chloride this quantity or this much that is minus 759.9 kJ per mole amount of energy is releases got it so important students remember this is the uh, flow chart of water cycle